Yeah, I got him. Take him down. He's got you, Sheldon. Look at this. Come on. Completely smiling. Hey, guys, guys. Some of the other waitresses wanted me to ask you something. Uh, it's called tressling. It combines the physical strength of arm wrestling with the mental agility of Tetris into the ultimate sport. Yeah, that's terrific. But what they wanted me to ask you is to cut it the hell out. All right, come on, guys. Come on. Happy birthday to you. We might as well stop. It's a stalemate. You're beating me in Tetris, but you've got the upper body strength of a Keebler elf. Keebler elf? I got a Keebler elf right here. OK, it's a stalemate. So, Leonard, will we be seeing you on Saturday for your free birthday cheesecake? He can't eat cheesecake. He's lactose intolerant. OK, he can have carrot cake. What about the cream cheese frosting? He can scrape it off. <laughs> Forget about the cake. How did you know that my birthday is Saturday? I did your horoscope. Remember, I was going to do everybody's until Sheldon went on one of his typical psychotic rants. For the record, that psychotic rant was a concise summation of the research of Bertram Forer, who in 1948 proved conclusively through meticulously designed experiments that astrology is nothing but pseudoscientific hokum. Blah, blah, blah. Typical Taurus. <laughs> so seriously, are we going to see you Saturday? Uh, I don't think so. Why not? I don't celebrate my birthday. Shut up. Yeah, you do. Well, it's no big deal. It's just the way I was raised. My parents focused on celebrating achievements, and being expelled from a birth canal was not considered one of them. <laughs> so silly. It's actually based on very sound theories. His mother published a paper on it. Well, what was it called? I hate my son, and that's why he can't have cake? <laughs> It was obviously effective. Leonard grew up to be an experimental physicist. Perhaps if she'd also denied him Christmas, he'd be a little better at it. Thank you. Well, I love birthdays. Waking up to mom's special French toast breakfast, wearing the birthday king crown, playing laser tag with all my friends. Yeah, see, that's what kids should have. Actually, that was last year. <laughs> So you really never had a birthday party? No, but it was OK. I mean, when I was little, I'd think maybe my parents would change their mind and surprise me with a party. Like this one birthday, I came home from my cello lesson, and I saw a lot of strange cars parked out front. When I got to the door, I could hear people whispering, and I could smell German chocolate cake, which is my favorite. And? Uh, it turns out my grandfather had died. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Well, it was kind of like a birthday party. I got to see all my cousins, and there was cake, so... That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. You think? Go ahead, tell her about your senior prom. <laughs> I'm who you are.